thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed our time together in this wonderful book of the Bible. Uh, somebody asked me, what's my favorite book? And I say, all of them. <laughs> all of them. You know, whatever I'm preaching on at that moment is my favorite book. And uh, so, anyway, I have thoroughly enjoyed our study thus far, and uh, I believe God has some things to say to us tonight. You come to the chapter 5, it becomes practical. These are the final parting admonitions to uh, this church, this group of people that uh, the Apostle's writing to under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. He's sort of summing everything up over the final weeks that we preach uh, through chapter number 5. Look, let's look, if we could please, in verse number 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And every one that loveth him that begat, loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. What a wonderful, wonderful passage. Let's pray together and ask God to help us. Father, thank you for your word tonight. I look forward to delving into these wonderful verses of Scripture with your people. I pray for the enlightening of the Holy Spirit tonight. We learn, we understand, Lord, that the Bible is spiritually discerned. Uh, Lord, that it's not a person's intellect or their own IQ or giftedness that gives them understanding of the Bible. It's the Spirit of God who illumines our hearts and minds and, and makes the Word of God come alive to us. And I pray that that would be the case tonight. I pray, Lord, that Your Word would be powerful in our hearts. Challenge us, change us, grow us into Your image. Lord, teach us.